Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. Today we'll talk about remote loads, direct transfer, and rigid connection option differences. When you apply a remote load, there are two options direct transfer and rigid connection. What's the difference, and when would you use either? This image shows the application of an upward vertical remote load on the end face of a block with the opposite end fixed. The options for applying the remote load are shown here. The online help shows that the direct transfer involves a resolution of the load into a shear force on the face and a moment, also known as a couple, on the face. You may remember this technique called resolving loads in your Statics 101 class. You should use this option if the effect you are trying to model is simulation of another component that is flexible and can deform with the structure. This is probably the most used option. The other option, shown as rigid connection, actually uses internal rigid links to transfer the load as shown in the online help. The effect is as if a very thick and rigid plate is attached to the end of the model, so the end face moves as a unit. You can also use this option to connect the effect of a mass, which will manifest in forces applied to the face under gravity fields and vibration simulations. You could use this option if the effect you are trying to simulate is a rigid, non-deformable loading condition. We ran both cases to show the difference. The upper graphic shows the rigid connection option, and the lower graphic shows the direct transfer option. They appear similar, but if you look closely, the loaded edge on the rigid connection plot is straight, while the loaded edge on the direct transfer plot is slightly curved. So that's the difference. We used the probe tool and selected an edge on the loaded face to graph the vertical displacement. Here you can see the probe and graph tool in action. The left graph shows the results of the direct transfer option and the right graph shows the results of the rigid connection option. You can see that the vertical deflection of the loaded face using the direct transfer option has a parabolic distribution, while the vertical deflection of the loaded face using the rigid connection option is constant. Today we've discussed remote loads, direct transfer, and rigid connection option differences.